So I went to a different classroom because this one actually has people enrolled in it. And I wanted to show you what it looks like when students turn in work. So for instance, if I click on this assignment here, I can see that 21 students have turned it in and 16 have been assigned. If I come down to Google Maps to a different topic, let me click over here because all of these are different topics that I've created. If I click Google Sheets, for instance, it's going to show me all assignments just underneath that topic. So it kind of cleans that up. It would be great for you to show that to your students if you do utilize topics, just because when they're reviewing, it's going to make it easier for them just to go back and see certain topics instead of everything and scrolling through that. Um, so if I click on the 15 turned in, it's going to show me a list of all of my students. And over here, if I click on one of their assignments, this is a bad example because they had to attach anything. But let's see. Go back to sheets. So we have 17 turned in, 19 assigned, and one graded, meaning I've graded one. So if I click on the 17 turned in, I can click on one of my students' names. I'm going to pick on Emma. She's so sweet. And here I can go in and I can view Emma's work. So I can see all of her grade or all of her assignment that she's attached. I can come over here and I can give it a grade. And then I can also leave private comments for her right here. Like, great job. I know that you would probably want to have better um, <laughs> or more in depth comments than me, but make sure that you click post whenever you do that. So when you click post, it's going to automatically send that to her or to him, whoever your student is. And then in order for them to see that grade, you want to press return. Now, if you don't want to do that, like an each individual student, you can grade them all and click return multiples submissions and click everybody. You'll also be able to see who you've put grades in for already. I'm going to click cancel for now. So to see the next um, student, you don't have to click X and go back over to Google Classroom and click the next kid. You're going to click right here. You have a drop down menu. So if you have certain students that you need to go check in on automatically, you can do that. You can also filter by status if you wanted to do that. Or if you just want to go in complete order, you can use these little arrows to go forward. You can see the next student's work, grade it, give them a comment, and so on and so forth. If you needed to see the assignment in a bigger window, you can do that by clicking this button right here and it will open up whatever attachments the students have in a full screen tab. Okay. There's also this thing called comment bank. So if you have comments that you leave continuously, like check spelling or cite your sources or whatever you need to do, you can click add to bank and add that comment. And then whenever you are working on that student, you can click right here and click copy to clipboard. And then you can paste that directly into these comments. The last thing to tell you before we wrap this session up is that you can go in and make comments on individual sections of a document. So to do that, you click on these three dots. You click on this bubble here, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, Control, Alt, and M at the same time on your keyboard. And it'll pop up this little comment bubble, and you can paste, or you can type directly in there. And I'm going to change it to great job because I don't want her to think I'm telling her to check her spelling. 
the due press copy it, and the student will see, oh, that one's highlighted. I know that I have a comment there. After you get finished, you just press return, or like we said before, you can return all of those. Only thing is, when you do press return, make sure that you're telling your students that return does not mean that they need to resubmit. It means that just like with a paper copy, you're returning that to them. Now notice that I have two graded here instead of just one. Also, that will be documented in the um, gradebook part whenever we get to there. So in this video, we talked about how to return work, how to grade work, and how to see those student submissions. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will be happy to help.